Hey, what's going on everyone? Michael back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add users to a SharePoint site. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to go ahead. I created a SharePoint Teams and Power Automate videos. Right now, I'm doing some simple stuff, but later down the line, I'll be putting out some more advanced tutorials. So there's a lot of things you can do within the Power Platform. All right, so navigate to your SharePoint site. So today we're in the marketing SharePoint. And let's say I want to add two or three users from a different department and I don't want them in my team. So we will navigate to the cog wheel, site permissions, and I like to go in advanced permission settings. So we'll go ahead and go into there. As you can see, we have the default groups, members, owners, and visitors. And we also have a SharePoint group we made in the previous video that contains a few users from the business group. And so it's pretty easy to add users to a SharePoint site. If you don't, if they're, if they don't have access already, every time they try to enter in the URL and press enter, it'll say, you don't have permissions, uh, please contact the owner or it will uh, send a request to the owner. So to avoid that, we'll go ahead and grant permissions. So let's say I want to add Abby Brown and you can include an email message you want. So you can say, hi, Abby, you can now access the site. And we want to select a permission level. So for the whole website, we want to grant Abby just read access so she can visit the site, see what's going on. And so now Abby's added to the site. So it's more useful to create SharePoint groups for users instead of individual people. But if you have like one or two or a handful of people that need to access the site, you can do it this way. So we'll go ahead and add another user. I think it's Bob, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think of the username. So we have Bob from, let's say Bob is in HR and needs to access the marketing site for, for probably like a month or so. So we'll give him access for a month. Hi, Bob. You can now access the site to work on a project. Let's say he was working on a project with the other marketing members and he needed access to a, a file directory or a document library, I mean. So we'll go ahead and grant him edit permission. And you'll get an email invitation about this. So we'll go ahead and press share. And as you can see, we now have Abby Brown and Bob Green in our marketing site. So every time they access the homepage URL, they'll be able to get into the website and look around. So this is usually pretty useful, but yeah, you wanna assign most of the time people to SharePoint groups, because if you start assigning individuals and have like 60 users, then you have to manage all 60 of those users and it's better just to group them all together and manage it that way. Uh, people switch departments, people leave jobs, and it can get really confusing if your permissions aren't set up correctly from the start. So I highly recommend using SharePoint groups over individual, but if you need to grant individual permissions, it's not the end of the world. So that'll be a quick tutorial on how to add users to your SharePoint site. I get this question sometimes because some a lot of users aren't really too experienced with SharePoint, so it's very helpful to give them basic tutorials and everything. So if you like the video, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. I'll be putting out some more videos later this week, and I'll catch you in the next one.